Hi everyone, right, so we'll keep on going. So we're on example two. So the ball is projected vertically upwards from point X, which is seven meters above the ground. Right, so I've got the ground. I've got seven meters. There's the, the particle, the ball. It's being fired up. So I'm taking upwards as my positive direction, which means gravity is acting against it and the floor is below it. So that's my positive direction. So I'm going to write up here somewhere. But because the positive is up, my gravity acts against it. So that's going to be a minus g, but also the floor is 7 meters in the opposite direction. So it's like minus 7 meters because it's going in the opposite direction. So that's things to think about. So uh, what we've got here now. Then? So projected upwards, 7 meters ground with a speed of 21. So that speed of 21 is my new value. So it's being fired up with the unit 21. I want the greatest height. Now what's important for the greatest height is that my speed at the top is zero. Because when it gets to the top, it just holds there for a split second. So my S is 101. My U is 21, because that's what it tells us. My V at the top is zero. My A was, now remember, gravity's acting down, but I've set my positive as going up. So it's minus gravity, so it's minus 9.8. That means it's going to set the square. Oh, look, there's an A in that one, square. Uh, T, not fussed about. So I choose the one without the T in it, which is V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. So 0 squared is 21 squared plus 2 lots of minus 9.8 times s. If I take that bit onto the other side, over here, I've got, what's that going to be, 19.6. So 19.6 lots of s is equal to 21 squared, which is 441. So my s value is 441 divided by 19.6. Not on the calculator up here, but I should have a calculator on to show you. So 441 divided by 19.6 gives me 22.5. Exactly. Now remember the accuracy, the accuracy there is 2 sig fig. So S is 23 meters to 2 sig fig. So look at part B now, the time of the flight. So the time of the flight is when it hits the ground. And this is my issue that the ground is seven meters below where I fired it from. The ground is seven meters in the opposite direction. So it's minus seven. My U is 21. I haven't got a clue what my speed is. People think it's zero when it hits the ground, but it's not. It hits with a speed and then it stops. But as it hits, it's got speed. It's like you're punching in the face. It's got speed when it hit there, but not afterwards. So I've got minus 9.8 here. And T is 101 I want to know. So I choose the one without V. So S equals UT plus a half AT squared. You're given the equations, um, but I've just used them so many times. So minus 7 is 21 lots of T plus a half minus 9.8 T squared. So minus 7 is 21 T minus 4.9 T squared. I've got a quadratic here now. So I've got 4.9 t squared 
minus 21t minus 7 is 0. Double check I've got that right. Yeah. If I use poly, it gives me t as minus 0.31, or t is 4.6. It's a 2 sig fig. I want it that t is greater than 0, so t is 4.6 seconds there. Right, if there's one for you, please do the one for you. Uh, it's a big one for you. So it's vertically upwards from a height above the ground. Is this a picture? Very good. Wow, there's a lot of work in this one. Yeah. So I had it as one meter above the ground. There it is. Some positive directions going up. So the, ball, the ground is minus one for us. Uh, so I'll kind of give that a go. See if we can, oops, see if we can do all right there. Uh, there's quite a few examples in here, questions for you. So I'll stop this now and I'll do another one.